I can't believe how long it took me to get here. It's like the light is green and people don't move. Why? Oh. Anyways, let's get this going. All right, guys. So today I have decided to venture out a little bit. And I noticed this one place that I haven't gone to since 10 years ago. That is Highway 55 or formerly known as Andes. I'm hoping to God that they're the same thing and not just that one bought out the other because I didn't do my research on it. I just remember that when I was living in my hometown, one of these joints opened up. Originally it was Andes, then they changed their name and I was told it was still the same. And I remember having fond memories of this place it's like a 50s themed little restaurant i remember that i was particularly hooked to their chicken sandwich so i decided i would get one to see if it's as good as i remember and the fried chicken sandwich i'll have to go back for but today i got the grilled one just to see but in addition, my fat self decided that if I'm going to screw myself up today, I might as well do it all the way. And I also ordered something I've never had before, which is their concrete. And apparently their concrete is simply a frozen custard that you can blend a flavor into it. So I did chocolate, of course. And this is what it looks like. It's like creamy enough for you to eat with a spoon, but technically I guess if I let it melt, I could use a straw. So let's give it a try. Hmm. It's good. It's like a premium ice cream. Yeah, it's pretty good. Would I order it again? I want to say no, only because I know of the perfect place for me to go to to have frozen custard. That really satisfies me. This is not bad but i prefer the kind that i get which has coconut in it let's move on to our sandwich you know i'm always suspicious of sandwiches that have that freaking lettuce that's all pale that has to be like the iceberg lettuce so let's try the fries mm. nothing particularly outstanding about them they're good decent amount of salt to my chicken sandwich i got rid of the mayo but i added cheese let's see how life treats me all right here's the subject it is blazing hot it smells good so far i spent a little over ten dollars on this meal and sincerely what I have had so far does not justify $10. So we will see if this burger, chicken sandwich rather, makes me change my mind. Now the chicken looks good. It's got a nice hue to it. I just had a nibble of a piece of chicken that was hanging off the side. Very well seasoned. It's flavorful. It's flavorful. It seems fresh, but it's not worth $10. And the little concrete that I had also just doesn't justify $10. And I grabbed the small one too. I guess as a teen, this type of thing packs massive flavor because your taste perception is like a little sharper, but I do not need to come back for this. It's not disgusting. It's actually pretty fresh and it has good flavor. It's decent, but I don't need to come back for this. If I go to a place with frequency, it's because they have something I can neither make at home myself or find anywhere else. But I'm glad I came here and, and tried this. Also, fun fact about this place. Back in 2009 was the last time I ever ate at one of these that last time was the very last time that I drank soda. There's this brand called uh, Zevia that they use Stevia and it's supposed to be like, I think it is a zero calorie soda and it's not a sparkling water. It actually has flavor to it, but 
it has something like erythrol, 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 some kind of alcohol thing in it. And I tried it because I'd never seen it before. And I said, hey, let me try this out. But I did not count it as a soda, despite it being a soda. But let's say the national brands that I'm used to, like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, the common ones, Sprite, Mountain Dew. I have not touched those since 2009. And it was at an Andes that I ordered. I think it was probably a Mountain Dew. Or maybe it was a a pepsi or a coke i'm not sure and i said all right guys this is the last time i'm drinking soda and i remember my boyfriend at the time was there my mother i think his stepmom was there but yeah that was the last time i drank soda to this day actually recently i did drink some and it was because you guys know these machines that have like 10,000 flavors in it i know zaxby's has one but anyways because i was curious about what a lime coke would taste like that's when i grabbed the cup and i decided to go on like a sampling spree of those flavors and there's also cherry flavors of things as well so i just got curious and i said hey let me see how grotesque this is or how actually bad it sounds but it actually tastes good for me to actually fill up an entire cup and drink it that hasn't happened since 2009 stupid iceberg lettuce it tastes exactly like what it is cheap iceberg lettuce should be banned and in its place we should have romaine lettuce all right guys well this was decent I don't need to come back for it, but I will come back for the fried one because I remember that the fried one tastes really good, but I kept saying that I would stay away from it for health reasons. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Have you guys ever been to one of these? I understand that these joints are more of a thing in like Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, maybe Georgia, maybe Florida has one. But I'm excited that in my little area here, there's actually one. And I'm like, hey, since I haven't been to one since 10 years ago. And also, it was way out there in my hometown. I said, why not venture out here and try this out? Let me know about your experiences. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.